Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you are watching, I am grateful. Thank you, thank you. I am going to read on a couple of people, do some pendulum work, things like that. Sorry I didn't get to a video yesterday. I kind of came down here, sat and sat and sat. I'm like, I just don't feel it. I just don't know what to read on. I just wasn't feeling it. So I went ahead and just skipped yesterday, which I don't like to do. But right now, this is sage. I'm gonna burn some sage. The Native American consider sage medicine. Where you can pray with it, you can um, clear energy, clean yourself before you go into the Anipi. And I use it to clear energy from any other readings that I had, anything else that I was doing, so that we can have a fresh start. That's my pendulum. So I get that cleaned. I get my cards cleaned of all energy, past, present, future, whatever. So we can all just start with a great, big, huge, fresh, clean slate. I also ask Spirit to show up and be here, talk through me, and that hollow bone, so that we can have the spirit come through and talk. All right, now that that's done. How is everybody today? If you like um, the videos that I'm doing, I hope you do. <laughs> Um, make sure that you're subscribing and pushing the like button. Apparently, those two things are extremely important so that I can stay on here and do what I do. Woohoo, bonfire over there. All right, so this is what I am going to do today. So I have these four cards uh, already pre-picked out. The Emperor, Trump. The Empress, Pelosi. The Fool, Pence, and I felt with this one, I don't know why I thought Justice, well Justice is a woman in, this, in these cards, but Bill Barr, Bill Barr, I wanted to read on Bill Barr. You know, we haven't heard anything, seen anything from Bill Barr, it's like he just went off the face of this earth. And, and went into hiding. It was just kind of weird. And what I'm going to do is I have uh, four of my decks here. And I'm going to pull a card from each one of my decks. This is the energy card. This is my... Oh, uh, this is my Arc, Archangel Power Tarot cards. This one right here. And this one right here is my Hidden Wisdom. Hidden Wisdom Realm has a Native American theme to it. And then my Haunted Deck. So I'm going to pull a card for each one of them and see what it says. All right. I'm going to start with my Haunted Deck. You know, President Trump is driving me crazy with his... You know, trying to trying to backpedal all of his saying and him, oh, him saying that you know he knew about this coronavirus and he knew it was a pandemic prior to and and then his his supporters on Facebook, you know, we we the people who talk about it and say he didn't say it was a hoax. Everybody's like denying anything and everything, and he's uh, anything that Trump says, they're on it. It is just insane but I can't let that bother me we're just gonna do what we do and be who we are and get on with our lives I suppose we might be quarantined <laughs> we might be doing it in our in our houses it's only gonna get worse before it gets better but what can we do all right these are my energy ones so I'm gonna pull a card for each one of them Let's see what that one says. Come 
over here. And then come over here for that one. All right. See what each one of my decks have to say. If you want to show up and be a part of this. And then what I was thinking about doing, stay tuned, is do a pendulum on if we're going to have a Republican or a Democratic president. It's kind of it's kind of far in advance, and I'm not particularly care for, you know to do it so far in advance. But I wanted to see what the pendulum has to say about that. If we're going to have a Democratic, and then I'm going to do it on um, McConnell. We're going to do a pendulum on there, so stay tuned for that. All right. There's that one. There's that one. That one. Who else wants to play that one? All right. Put that one aside. These are one of my favorite decks here. I like my energy deck. I like my Hidden Wisdom, which is this one, my Haunted Deck, these are my kind of go-to. My oldies but goodies are these guys. Those are used a lot with Pendulum. I like those too. Let's see what we got. If you hear panting, that's my dog in the background. Panting. It's been a tad warm here, and she has a long coat, so she, she, uh, it's not the one you've seen, it's another one. I love dogs. Okay. All right, so let's see what Trump has to say. Ooh, <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Lighting the lighting the candle. Trying to share that flame. But lighting the candle. Trying to light the way. You know, that makes sense right now. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. That makes a little bit of sense right now because he all of his rhetoric and all of that, and all of a sudden he has a different change of a tone. Something has happened in his in his personal life to to get him to waken up that this is a serious situation, and he's starting to he's trying to light that candle and trying to to show the way, which makes sense um, why that one would show up. Um, appreciation. That's interesting. He's wanting, he's wanting appreciation for all of this. He wants the glory. He wants the credit for all of this, thinking that he has, he's on top of it, and he's doing the best that he can, and, and you know, all of that stuff. He wants the appreciation, the accolades. The accolades. This one right here, reason to celebrate a community, friends, happy announcements regarding relationship or children. He also got that one. What is that about? These are pretty good pick, pretty good cards from Mr. Trump. I don't understand. I wonder what's going to happen. He's going to celebrate about something. Or else he's celebrating, thinking that he's doing a good job. The Shadow Queen. Oh. This one right here is the Shadow Queen. Um, this is Acquiring Knowledge, Insecurity, and Manipulation. There's Trump. I knew he'd show up. Manipulation. So he's trying He's trying to light the fire, trying to tell everybody everything's going to go. He wants the accolades for that. And he's trying to celebrate. He's celebrating, yeah, I'm doing a good job. You know that punch in the, uh, in the, in the arm going, yes, good job. But he's something, something underneath it all. He's manipulating something. The Shadow Queen. Acknowledge insecurities and manipulation. And he's lying to himself, as usual, and to us. At this point, you know how liars get to the point where they start to believe their own lies? They start to, they not only start to believe that their own lies, they don't even realize that it's like a knee-jerk reaction to lie. It, 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 he will say something if it makes him look good. 
and he will refuse to say something that might make him look bad. That's that ego arrogance. Yeah. All right, that's the current situation. Let's see what Pelosi has. Oh, she's thinking, come on in. Come on in. The butler. I'll take care of business. I'll take care of it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll make sure that, that the United States is taken care of. I'll make sure that uh, every, all of our needs are met. She's going to do what she can. She's the butler. She's doing what she can. The angel of balance, for sure. She's trying to be that angel of balance, trying to get in there, trying to figure it out and, and try to be there for the for the United States. She's she's the angel of balance. And this one here is five of Ariel. Uh, what does it read down here? You need to go through your current challenges alone. Huh. Help um help is is needed. Negative thoughts can create self fulfillment and prophecies. So she probably does feel alone. Although she, you know, I want her, wouldn't it be wonderful to all of us to send her a card and say we support her? I don't know how to get it to, you know, get it to her that she is fully supported in what she does and what she thinks in this, in this, uh, in the United States. She's really, really impressed me with who and what she is. Um, the Ringmaster, Serenity, clear vision and details. She has a vision for us. She has a plan. She definitely has a plan. She, she there's something that she has cooking. She's gonna zap him soon. She's gonna zap him soon. All right, so let's see what Pence has. <laughs> Oh, these cards are not here by accident. Do you see this picture? Where these little, they're chained up. And there's a devil whipping at them. Yeah, that's Pence. He is chained to, to Trump. He can't do anything about it anymore. He's chained. They're chained. And that could be also a representation of, um... Of Putin that they're both chained and there's Putin behind them and they have no other they have no other choice but to do what they're doing woman holding the heart Pelosi maybe woman holding the heart it just seems like Pelosi's still running the game whether anybody knows it or not she's still in the game and she's still doing what she can do and she's she's still you know they started with the with asking the Senate to do this and to do that with the with the um, with the United States, she you know she started that ball rolling. She's she's still holding the heart of the United States for sure. However, I think Pence. You know what this feels like? That Pence is talking to her, like a betrayal talk. That's interesting. I don't know why I felt that. Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love, a love for the beauty, beautiful things. Is he going for the presidency? Is he going for the presidency? He's trying to dream for the presidency? Hmm. Of course, the Metal King, which is Dennis um, Boundaries. Boundaries. He still held back. He still held back. I wonder if he goes at home and dreams in his bed while he's all by himself about being president. He just feels like he can't get there. I wonder. That's what it kind of feels like. All right. Bill Barr. Bill Barr. Hmm. Four cups. 
I don't know if you can see this, but there's a skeleton hand ar coming around with, with what I always believe to be poison. Coming around, handing him poison. He's trying to trying to refuse to drink the poison, but that's what it looks like. They're offering him poison. Attachment. He's attached to Trump. Very, very attached to Trump. Embrace your inner child, the new friend. Rekindle relationship, child and childhood. So, I don't know if anybody else has read on this or, or said anything like this, but Bill Barr always makes me feel like there is a deep, dark, seated secret that the Republicans know or either maybe Trump knows about him that, that keeps him just chained. Like, oh, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody about what has happened. And it's not good. I mean, it's it's on the realm of some sort of just deviant, really, really bad devilish acts of, of some sort uh, in his family tree or from him or from his father. I just, I've always felt that and his father and Trump knows about it. I remember when the report for, you know, that, that Trump really wanted to be vindicated, that, that the FBI, the FBI started an investigation on him. They wanted, he wanted it to so badly say that it was wrong. It was, it was done wrong and stuff like that. And I remember Bill Barr being, looking, he was right beside Trump and he had that little, uh, please, 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 please. Um, forgive me, it wasn't my fault that it came out this way. And he just had that puppy, you know, like he's been beaten puppy look into his eye looking at Trump. I remember that. And that really engaged me. It was going, wow, there's really something deep, dark, secret inside that boy that that he does not want out that somebody knows. That's what's always felt about that with Bill Barr. Uh, the River Queen, uh, letting the, um, the natural moment, that's interesting, flow, letting go, and natural movement, sorry, <laughs> moment, movement, natural mu movement. Hmm. He would like to get back to his old life, before Trump life. It feels like he's in his home all alone and in his mind and he dreams of pre Trump pre Trump era pre Trump life like if i could just get back to that i would be okay if i could just get back to that that's when that's when i was the best that's when i felt the best and he's he's so incredibly miserable flee and then a natural movement so he he's dreaming of um pre pre Trump life that's what that says to me interesting i don't know if we knew anything found out anything uh, more but that's very interesting stuff i got to tell you that we get on those things all right so now i would like to do my pendulum and let me put these all back before i get them all mixed up and then I'm just upset that none of them are together. I don't know if anybody else have these type of problems. That way, that way, and that way. That way, that way, that way, and that way. Okay, cool. So, let me see. Let's pick a few of them out. Let's go for... What would be King of Cups would be Republicans and King of Pentacles will be Republic or 
Democrats, gosh, if I could just say it the right way, I would be such a happier girl. Democrats, King of Pentacles, Republicans. So what we're going to ask is if we are going to have a Republican president or a Democratic president. And we're going to use my pendulum. All right, so pendulum, give me a yes or a no answer. Are we going to have a, it's, it's, yeah, let's throw it here. Are we going to have a Republican president for 2021? If yes, give me a yes. If it's no, give me a no. It's already giving me a no, but let me stop. Let me make sure that. All right, one more time. Are we going to have a Republican president? It's already giving me okay. It is for my hand. I gotta keep it still. I don't want my hand is. Let me make sure. It's still giving me a no, guys. It's, I mean, it's just like giving me no. All right. Are we going to have a Republican president 2021? It's still going in circles, giving me a no. So that's the third time it's giving me a no. Good news! Are we going to have a Republican or Democratic Gosh, if I can just get them right. A Democratic president for 2021. Are we going to have a Democratic president for 2021? Come on, Spirit. Give me a big yes. Huge yes. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Woo-hoo. So yes, I'm the, I'm the Democratic president. I don't know about you, but I just get so incredibly excited about that. Okay. Whew. So let's talk about Mitch McConnell and the Senate. Are we going to have a Republican? I don't know what, what is, I forget the name of what Mitch McConnell is. Oh, well, I'm sure somebody will tell me. So are we going to have the, whoever's the head of, of uh, the Senate? Are we going to have a Republican or a Democrat run the Senate? Okay, so are we going to have a Republican run the Senate? Are we going to have a Republican run the Senate? Pendulum, give me a yes or a no answer. Oh, it's saying no. Uh, Spirit, I hope you're speaking through me. Oh, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. No, no, and no. Woo! All right. Are we going to have a Democrat running the Senate? Are we going to have a Democrat running the Senate? Pendulum, give me a yes and or a no answer. And make it big. Oh, stay still, Sheila. Okay, so it's giving me a yes that we will have a Democrat running the Senate. Yay! Oh, you know, so far, and I'm not trying to brag, but so far my pendulum has given me correct answers. And so far, so far, I'm going to check, of course, closer to November. Um, but as right now, we are projected to, to have a Democratic president and a Democratic running the Senate. <sighs> that 
That would be fantastic. Okay, so now let's find Mitch McConnell. And let's do a reading on him. We haven't done a reading on Mitch McConnell. Oh, the magician. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's do the magician. That's Mitch McConnell. Okay, Mitch McConnell. Okay, so is Mitch McConnell going to be removed from the Senate? Is Mitch McConnell going to lose the race? Is Mitch McConnell going to be replaced in the Senate? Pendulum, give me a yes for a yes answer and a no for a no answer. Oh my gosh, it's going in circles again. Bye, Mitch. Oh, it's giving me a no. He is not going to be in the Senate. Okay. Let me make sure that that question was correct. All right, so, Pendulum, give me a yes answer if he is going to be out of the Senate, and a no answer if he is going to stay in the Senate. Okay? Is he going to be out of the Senate, or is he going to be... Stay still, Sheila. Ah, uh, saying yes, he is going to be out. Out, out, out. There's a car outside. You can hear the horn. Bye, Mitch. I said Mitch, not buh, buh. Okay, so let's find Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham. Who would represent, what would represent, shall we do the devil? I think it's too easy. Empress, Emperor, Strength, Fear, the Moon, Pentacles, Judgment, the Fool. Oh, we can have that one. The Fool represent Lindsey Graham. All right. So, Pentacle. Is Lindsey Graham going to be removed is he going to be removed from the Senate? Yes or no? It's Lindsey, no, okay. Is Lindsey Graham going to be removed from the Senate? Give me a yes or a no. Ooh, yes. Uh, stay still, Sheila. Okay, one more time. Let's see if I can keep my arms sit still. I always wanted to be honest because I don't want to ever. Okay, so is Lindsey Graham going to be removed from uh, the Senate? Is Lindsey Graham going to be moved from the Senate? Give me a yes or a no. Can you give me a bigger yes? A real big yes, Spirit. A big, big yes. Ooh, yes. Okay. <sighs> that makes me so happy. So, so happy to hear those sort of things. Anyways, I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Please uh, subscribe and do the like button. Apparently, that's really, really, really important. And thank you for watching my videos. I really am grateful. Thank you. Bye.